guys, what's going on? Now, I know you guys have been wanting this for a while. So, here you go. Here's my setup. Ugh. So, right here, let me go ahead and bring it up. So, I'm running a two-monitor split, as you can see. I'm running Logitech G910 keyboard with, right now, uh, Crosshair mouse. And, along with that, a backup generic mouse, just in case something messes up. This is what I use to clean my whiteboards with. But on to the big, big reveal. Let me actually go ahead and see if this works with the tripod. See if this all fits in. Uh, on mid. I'm pretty sure it does. But so basically, here's the liquid cooling unit for my graphics card for my CPU I'm running a CX600 which you cannot see it's down here uh, but other than that I'm running basically all the good stuff uh, maybe I can switch out the lights so you guys can see a little bit better uh, let's see here I don't want alright there's blue alright now where's green alright maybe you guys can see, maybe it's easier to see with that Alright, it's a little bit easier, but, so yeah, this is the graphics card that I'm running right underneath here, it's a fucking big one, guys, uh, the 1080 is a little bit bigger than this, but, I gotta say, it, it's pretty, it's pretty well off, now, the neons, of course, the, you know, they don't stick in, because of course, self-stick is just not even good, <laughs> it just loves to fall off when it hits metal. I got to get better glue for it. But yeah, so I'm running an ASRock Z170 Pro 4 motherboard. Uh, I'm running the Intel i7 quad-core processor with 8 gigabytes RAM. I'm about to actually uh, extend the RAM right here. I'm actually about to extend that uh, and upgrade to 16. As you guys can see, this keeps falling down for some odd reason. Oh wait, I'm sorry. It's because, um, yeah, their adhesive sucks. <laughs> that's, that's the easiest way to put it. Alright, so, now, the computer, basically, it's beautiful. I got, I got, what, shit, man. I got liquid cooling on the CPU from Cooler Master. Uh, everything is Cooler Master. Even my frame, my box is Cooler Master. Let me go up here. Bring you up to here. So this is the mic that I do all the videos with. It is a blue snowball. Nope, it's not. It's a blue Yeti, guys. The blue Yeti uh, should. It actually is pretty damn good. Now this one is the phone, or well, is the camera audio. I did get me a camera. You guys can't see it, but it's the Coolplex B8 500 from Nikon, and. Uh, of course, I use HyperX headset, which I have that plugged in, which actually does pretty good. For the price that I paid for it, I was really surprised. Um, let's see. <laughs> okay, after that, uh, the recording equipment that I use. Now, I've been saying this to you guys several times. Uh, let's go ahead go to it. I'll show you guys it. It's called VideoPad. Now, guys, I did buy the full version. There is a free version, but it's not for commercial use. I went ahead and paid for it, so that way I wouldn't have any issues whatsoever. But uh, basically on here, sorry if it's a little shaky, but uh, my mouse pad literally <laughs> takes up everything, including like an overlap space right here. You can see right here, I mean, it, it's huge. It's from Razer, guys. Uh, I gotta say, Razer's pretty good for what I like. The only thing that uh, I didn't like with the Razer keyboards is they were so loud. Now, you guys might hear it on here every once in a while, but the thing is, Razer keyboard literally was so bad that I couldn't record anything live whatsoever. That's why also I went with this. I went with the backup mouse because uh, it's a little bit quieter than this. It's a little bit quieter, but so basically, this is the editing software I use. You're going to have, well, they say 
Oh, and let me see if I can get this up here. Okay. So basically, uh, with this, you can sit here, add in your commentary right from here. Of course, I don't have anything. But you can add in text, blanks, PNGs. You can add in anything whatsoever. Now, the recording material I actually use when I record, I hope it doesn't do it again, is... Yeah, it's going to make it's going to force to do it again. Let me make sure it's still working. Okay, so now uh, come on. Come on. There we go. Well, so many of you uh every time an update comes out for Shadow Play, uh something fucks up. So I stopped getting the updates. Uh, I I legit stopped. I just said screw them. Uh but yeah, so my setup Otherwise, other than that, I got all my stuff set up into pretty organized groups. Uh, as you can see here, I got everything for my Skype, my Storm Chaser channel, lagging out. Uh, of course, I got my games in here. Uh, I think, yeah, here's all the games that I have. Uh, I mean, it's pretty much simple. Now, the one thing that I did add is... If you guys can see it, yep, you guys can. It's a 5 terabyte hard drive. So I ran out of space. Here, maybe you guys can see. Uh, let's go to this PC. There we go. So I ran out of space on this drive right here. Uh, which, honestly, I am almost out of... Well, I'm almost halfway through it again. I had to transfer all my games to this one from Steam. Now I gotta do the same with Origins and Battle.net, but anyways, that should be uh, pretty simple. But yeah, so now with the other recording software that I use on games that are not um, that are not used by uh, GeForce, Shadowplay, however you want to name it, I use OBS, guys. Uh, I know I got it somewhere on here, I just don't remember where I put it. Here, let's search for it real quick and see if we can find it. OBS. Open broadcast software. This stuff is free, guys. It's 100% free. Uh, so if you guys are just trying to start your channel, this is what you need to use. Now, of course, mine is, of course, messing up. Okay, there we go. All right. But as you guys can see here, when I hit, uh, I can hit preview stream. You guys can see right there. I mean, it does everything. Of course, I'm doing this through here. You can add in game capture cards. You can add in uh, window capture, monitor captures. Uh, what one you want to capture. Since I'm running two screens, I can capture the second one off the first one. Uh, basically, it comes down to that. Now, the other thing that I like about it, uh, this computer setup, is... Now, I do, I do hate the Windows Anniversary Edition update. So I actually went back to the old way of doing it. Guys, November 5th, I'll be on there. Somewhere, somewhere, I'll be there. Alright, but yeah, basically, so, the well, right now the software that I use for my thumbnails is, uh, well, uh, Kir Kirita? Kirita or something like that. But this is what I'm using for my thumbnails right now. It's actually loading up. Alright, here we go. Uh, but yeah, as you can see over here, if I come over here, I got all my overlays, all my stuff. I can add in uh, basically anything I want. Now, other than that, uh, there's really nothing much else to my system. Other than the big, the big six foot freaking tall, or no, I'm sorry, ten foot tall green screen that never works right. And, of course, I went ahead and I have a business desk. I went and got it from eBay. It actually turned out pretty good. Not bad. Uh, other than that, really nothing else along with that. Um, other than my whiteboards, uh, where I keep all my ideas. That, and then uh, I have a set schedule that comes out. Like, today's video is going to actually be this. Um, I was not able to record yesterday. I was kind of sick my ear was killing me my jaw was killing me of course that's what you get when you have uh allergies 
But guys, so go ahead, drop that like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about the game. No, not about the game. Tell me what you think about my setup. If you like it, if you don't, what don't you like about it? And do you have a setup like this, or what is your setup? Go ahead, put that in the comment section below. Let me know how you think about it. Let me know if you like your setup. Let me know if you don't, or what you can change. All right, guys, see you later. Thank you.